how to keep hot girls. Now, this is interesting because when I had my Twitter on Cobra Tape, people used to call me out on this. People thought I was a liar. But let me tell you something. I don't lie because I'm a G and my word is iron. And there is a level of pimpery you can attain where you can literally have a harem of females. I say this to people and people don't believe it. And when I say harem of females, I mean beautiful women who are loyal only to me, talk to no other men, who know about all the other women I fuck, and still take dick and behave. It's almost like the best lawyers become judges, you know? And the best, the best players end up in my position where you have a harem of females. If you go back to the video where I was saying about how to get women, I was saying that it's important you be yourself. And here's absolutely why. To obtain a female can be done with game and Roosh and his garbage books and tricks and tips. Maybe, maybe if she's drunk, you can pull that off. I know a couple of them that kind of half work, but I haven't even said them in the video because you know what? It's not, it's not the key to success. However, you cannot retain a female for any long period of time with an act. You can't pretend to be anyone other than you are forever because that's not, it's not, it's not gonna happen. Game lasts if she's drunk in the bar, but who you are this is the only thing that's going to keep her around you. So when I said it's important you are yourself, it's because if you get a 10 out of 10, you don't want to fuck her once. You want to fuck her every day. And you want to make sure she doesn't fuck anyone else. And you want her to give you massages. You want her to look after you. You want her to listen to you. Well, then you have to be yourself. Because she ain't going to, who else are you going to be? Me? You wish. Motherfucker, no, you got to be yourself. So the only way you can really retain females over a long period of time is being yourself. So this is why I was telling you how important it is to be yourself at the beginning and also make yourself someone worth being. In the other videos I was explaining it. But how to keep hot women. Like I said, there's a level of pimpery you can attain where you can have literally a harem of females. But I'm going to tell you the key to this and it's remarkably simple. In fact, I'm going to link back to one of my other videos I've already made explaining the dynamics between men and women. But I'm going to explain it again now and I'm going to go back to that video to go over it again. Women are biologically programmed to share their man. And they're biologically programmed to share their man. And you can look at this with scientific evidence because since the dawn of human time, 99% of females have reproduced. They contract the chromosomes. Whereas since the dawn of human time, only 19% of men have reproduced. What that's saying is all the kings and sheikhs and the best, biggest, strongest soldiers, like Big Daddy Tate, had all the pussy, and all the other dudes had no pussy. There's no other way that could have possibly happened unless one dude had a ton of chicks. In fact, even nowadays, every king, every sultan, every sheikh, they all have loads of women. People are pretending it's not normal. It's not normal for a man to want more than one girl. Absolutely is normal. It's absolutely normal for men to have more than one woman. This is how we are, we're mammals like everything else. If you look at a lion's pride, if there's five men and five women, that's not 10 happy, that's not five happy couples. No, it's one lion with five girlfriends and four lions who don't get pussy unless they beat the best lion in the fight. That's how lions work. That's how it works. So you can't say it's not natural, it's absolutely natural. And women are biologically programmed to share their man. If you're a high value man, a girl is happy to share you. I'm telling you, no, I take that back. She may not be happy to share you, but she'll fucking do it. It's kind of like, do you want a, a pedal bike that works every day without problems? Or do you want a Ferrari that works once a week? Well, most people say, well, yeah, I want the Ferrari. Because when it does work, it's worth it. That's what it's like with the women. I want Big Daddy Tate. Do I want a guy who's only with me and loyal to me and loves me? Or do I want Big Daddy Tate once a week when he ain't busy, even though I know he's all fucking other girls? I'm telling you, they will make that choice and they will choose you if you're high value enough. And the key to doing this is a few things. First, dick's got to be on point. That's something I ain't going to have to teach you. You better just go fuck a bunch of bitches and you'll learn. That's the first thing. But second thing, you have to be high value. All the other lessons I've ever given you. But the third and most important key to actually pulling this off is remarkably simple. The, the dynamic of cheating for a man is, is an awfully cowardly one. It's quite a cowardly act. Like... I have a girlfriend, I'm fucking another girl, and I'm hiding all the messages, and I'm lying about where I'm going, and I'm sneaking out, and all this garbage. And, and when the girl finds out, she thinks you're a dickhead, she loses respect for you because you were such a little pussy about it. Do you know how I get away with doing what I do? I get away with it by saying to girls, yeah, are you, first I fuck them. I'm a nice guy till I fuck them, because until you have sex with a girl, you have no control over her. You gotta fuck her. First few weeks, you're fucking her, fucking her. You've been together three months. It's the honeymoon period. She's madly in love. You're fucking her. Da, 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 da. Where were you last night? Oh, I was with this girl. What? What? This girl? Oh, it starts going crazy. Yeah, I was with another girl. Yeah. Look, I'm a full grown man. I'm 31. I'm six foot four. I do what I want with my body. I put my dick where I want. Yeah, I still love you. No, I don't love that bitch, but I fucked her. That's the reality. If you wanna leave, leave. 
But that's what happened. And what they'll say is, why are you saying it like that? Why are you being rude? So I'm not being rude. Do you want me to lie to you? I don't lie. I told you I'd always tell you the truth, so I'm not lying. I'm not lying. I'm telling you the truth. So you want me to lie to you from now on? And then they sit there, and this is what happens. One of two things happens. They leave, but if they leave, they never loved you in the first place. Because if they love you, they ain't going nowhere. Or they sit there, and women ain't that stupid. They think, okay, I love this man with all my heart, and he fucks someone else. Do I want to go and leave the man I love and try and find a man I don't love, who's hopefully not going to cheat, who probably will? Like, they start doing the math, and they start just asking stupid questions. Like, well, how do I know you only like me? How do I know you don't like her? Who is she? All this bullshit. And you just got to shut it down. It's like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Look, don't worry about it. You're the one I'm with. What happened, happened. Don't worry about it. And they ain't going to go anywhere. I'm telling you, they ain't going to leave. Dick them right that night. It'll be fine. They'll be a bit pissed off. Whatever. But it grows into a lifestyle. They start to understand that's just who you are as a man. My girlfriend says to me, she goes, I know I couldn't change you, so I don't even try. She knows. She'll say to me, tonight, are you staying with me or, or out? She says out. But basically, are you staying with me or are you dicking someone else? She knows. She's a one million percent loyal to me. She talks to no other men and she knows I fuck a whole bunch of women because I am programmed to fuck women. I'm not going to apologize for my biology and neither should you. You have no reason to apologize for your human biology as a man. We are programmed to fuck because we don't get pregnant. Women get pregnant. Women have to be selective about who they sleep with because if they got pregnant in the olden days without a man to look after them, that's a death sentence. You're on the street with no man to look after you. The reason virginity was so respected in the olden days is because that's the easiest paternity test in the world. The only way you know who the man is is if she ain't fucked no one else. Otherwise, you don't know who the fucking baby dad is. No one wants to raise a kid that ain't theirs. There was no DNA testing back then. But men, we ain't gonna worry about none of that shit. We can fuck who we want. Run around, fuck, fuck, fuck. Why do you think people join the army? Why do you think the Romans fucking were walking in directions? Why do you think the, the Mongols destroyed Europe? For pussy. What the fuck else were they doing besides kicking ass and fucking? There was no video games back then. There was nothing else to do. There was no fucking Breaking Bad to watch. They're just fucking girls. This is the natural order of men. It's just to fuck as many women as we can. So you can be the kind of man who either does it and tries to hide it like a little bitch, or you can just do it and just say, yeah, sorry, whatever. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Occasionally, you're going to lose some girls. There's the all girls like, I'm not putting up with this, and they run off. Whatever. Get a new one. Who gives a fuck. But if she truly loves you, and that's why it's important you don't implement it straight away. Give it a few months. Give everything on the If she truly loves you, fucking yeah, it happened. Sorry. Start off with, it was a one-off. It happened. It was a one-off. Let her get over that. Then it kind of happens again. And then there's another girlfriend. And then, 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 you know, then you're sitting there. You're out. You're drinking. You're talking about how you're going to play with the titties later. You say, you know what? I want to fuck you. I'm going to fuck the other girl. We're going to fuck you together. And you're going to be sisters. You're going to hold hands. And you're both going to call me daddy. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. You are doing that. I'm not doing that. I bet one day you do it. She'll say no. I'm telling you. Get her on her back. Start fucking her. Start talking about it. Watch her fucking smile. Every girl wants to do this shit, man. Obviously, this only works with like high level hoes. You can't be saying to a 10, come fuck this five, because that's embarrassing to the 10. But if you have a Barbie doll bitch like I do, if you're banging with the best girls in the world, every, every 10 wants to fuck another 10. Girls like that shit. Girls are fucked up. Girls want, girls want tits in their mouth, just like you do. It's normal. So if she's bad, and the girl you're talking about is bad, and there's some alcohol going on, and both of them are subservient to you, the king, and you get your dick out, they're getting fucked. That's how it goes. And before you know it, you end up with a whole bunch of loyal girlfriends only to you. Now, is it all smiles and rainbows? No. Sometimes the girls argue. Sometimes they get jealous. Sometimes they don't get along. Blah, blah, blah. But they don't leave. So who cares? Sometimes I wake up on my phone. Oh, this girl put this picture of you on Instagram. And I didn't put this picture. And it looks like she's your real girlfriend. I'm not your real girlfriend. And I just have to read it. And it's like, whatever. It's a block or shut up. Or I'll reply like, I'll handle it. Do nothing. Have a coffee and just chill. Whatever. Is, is she leaving me? No. Is she leaving me? No. I'll fuck her at eight. I'll fuck her at 10. I'll hit the club with my bro at 11. It ain't a thing. There's a level of pimpery you can attain where you can pull this shit off. And people call my, people on Twitter were like, you're lying, you're lying. Because they couldn't get their fucking head around my mastery. They couldn't handle the fact that they can't even get one girl to respect them. And I have multiple tens loyal to me for years, subservient to me, sucking dick, Whenever I fucking say so. If I want to put a threesome together, it takes two fucking phone calls. Anyone who followed my old Twitter knew I went to Copenhagen. It's the worst place in the world. Fucking Copenhagen sucked. I made one phone call. I had two blondes on a plane. Never even met each other before. You're going to meet at the airport. Her name's this. Your name's that. 
buying fucking priority seats. They sat there on the plane drinking vodka. So how long you known Andrew? Da -da -da. Turned up. A few more martinis later. Bang. Dick fest. That's how I roll. You can roll the same. Remember, you're the man who can do anything. It's the first tenet of the G mindset. You can do anything you fucking want. So keep that in mind and you'll get it done.